Hello everybody and welcome back. Tonight we go to the London area and as most of you know we have an account at Hollow Ponds with a very strange experience, two lads that were fishing um, and they heard some really strange noises coming from behind them. But this is also in the area, it's a few years later um, but it's worth, you know, it's worth me bringing it to you. And it was in the Guardian and it says park officials have denied a Bigfoot like creature is on the loose in Wanstead Woods after a strange and hairy bear like animal was spotted by a fisherman. Trainee fitness instructor Michael Kent said he was stunned when he saw the hairy dark creature during an evening fishing trip in the Hollow Ponds area of Epping Forest on the border between Wanstead and Leightonstow. Mr Kent, 18, said, I was there with my dad and my brother. I was walking over to where my brother was when I heard this rustling sound. I looked over and saw this strange dark figure that resembled a bear. It was hunched over and I could see it had a really hairy back. I think it must have heard me and scampered off into the bushes after a couple of seconds. It was getting dark but I still managed to get a good look at it. It was about four foot tall so it was too small to be a human but not the right shape to be a deer. You didn't have long legs or anything like that. I've been fishing in this area since I was five years old, and I've seen deer, dogs, and even a cow before now, but never anything like this. He definitely looked like a bear. My dad and brother weren't so sure, they just laughed, but I really do believe I saw one, he added. It would be good if there were bears around here, because it would mean we'd had some of the wildlife. Other reports from the area also include uh, an article in the London, the Londonist, and this is back in 1981, and it's a Hackney Marsh growling bear. And it began on the 27th of December, 81, when four young boys came across a beast they described as a, jay, a giant great growling hairy thing as they were playing in the thick snow on the marsh. 13-year-old Tommy Murray was scared stiff by the beast which allegedly raised up onto its hind legs and growled. The boys scattered in horror, all slipping upon the white blanket of snow. The shocking encounter came just hours after the friends had stumbled across a mysterious set of impressions in the snow that seemed to have been made by a large animal they couldn't identify. Soon after the incident, more than 50 police with dogs, marksmen and a helicopter scored the area. But despite the set of tracks being discovered, there was no sign of the animal. Now, according to the Gazette, um, the Hackney Marsh bear makes an appearance again in 2012. It says, terrified university student Helen Murray said she took snaps while out for a stroll near dense woodland close to the path of the old River Lee on Bank Holiday Monday. She said she was stopped in her tracks by the unknown animal, which was larger than a person and covered in shaggy black fur. I tried to stay calm as I wasn't sure what kind of animal it was or if it was even alive, she said. I had my phone ready to call 999 Then the creature moved. Somehow, I managed to get a couple of pictures before I ran. I managed to get away but was scared half to death. Mrs Murray says she didn't contact the police because she thought they wouldn't believe her. A spokeswoman for Hackney Police said there had been no other reports of sightings while experts at London Zoo said the pictures were not clear enough for them to comment. The photographs have revived memories of the unexplained case of the bear reportedly sighted on the marshes in 1981. Fifty police officers and army marksmen and a helicopter were drafted into search the area, but the beast was never found. Officers at the time stressed that people who'd seen the animal were not hoaxes, although they admitted they could have been the victims of a hoax. Something to note, two bear carcasses had previously been found nearby in the River Lee, and it remains a mystery. The animals have been decapitated and no one found out how they got there. So until next time, thank you very much. Good night.